Hey guys, what's going on? Jared Bronstein here and welcome to IO. We make the trending news fun, entertaining, informative, whatever else you guys want to hear. So you guys hit the subscribe button and click that bell and keep coming back for more. Today we're talking about Takashi 69 and his situation regarding witness protection. Although he's reportedly denied the offer to stay in witness protection so he could lead a life of fame, he's going to be hiring security 24-7 to protect him and his family who are apparently now fearing for their lives. For those of you guys that don't know, Takashi has been involved in a federal trial in which he called out tons of members of the Nine Trey Bloods. Some of those members include former associates and even celebrities like Cardi B and Jim Jones. Of course, when it comes to the streets, there's a famous saying, snitches get stitches. Other people like to say things like, if you play with fire, you'll get burned. In this case, well, I think Takashi may end up worse off than jail. We're talking dead. Now, of course, I don't wish harm upon the guy. What he's doing doesn't involve me. And regardless if I agree with how he handles the situation or not, I'd never wish harm upon anyone. That being said, when you're dealing with people on the streets, they don't really care much about the law. They kind of make their own rules. And one of those rules is to stay loyal to your crew, something Takashi obviously didn't do. Now, because of this, he's of course going to get a reduced sentence. And although his sentencing is expected to come in January of 2020, he believes he'll be released in the same year. Government officials have suggested having him protect under the Witness Protection Act, where he'd pretty much change his identity from his legal name to physical features, most likely getting all the tattoos taken off of his face, you know. But he's actually denied that and claims he'll just hire his own private security round the clock so he can stay Takashi 69 and continue a career as a rapper. Now there's a few issues here. Snoop Dogg, Meek Mill, The Game, 50 Cent, and other rappers have called Takashi out for being a snitch. This could be a problem for his career because rappers aren't going to want to associate themselves with the guy unless something else happens, which I'm sure it will within the next six months that makes everyone forget about this in the first place but there's also the long-term effects as well it's unclear how many years his associates will get but assuming they get 5 10 even 20 or 25 30 years doesn't matter whenever they come out of jail I have a hard time believing they're going to forgive and forget even if they are sentenced to life in prison they have family both blood related and other members of their gang no pun intended there that will be seeking vengeance and even with security if a guy with an automatic weapon runs up on him and dies in the process of trying to take Takashi down well that's also a very realistic possibility according to reports Takashi will be paying for his 24 7 security which I'm sure will be responsible for not only protecting him but his family as well who haven't been going to the court hearings out of fear they'll be attacked once they leave the court either way I'm genuinely scared for this guy's life and hopefully nothing does happen to him. That being said, he shouldn't have gotten involved with these guys in the first place, and the fact that he used them for fame and fortune and then turned once he got caught is absolutely insane. As always, I want to hear your thoughts on this entire story in the comments down below. Do you guys think round the clock security will be enough to protect Takashi? Or, you know, do you think... You guys get what I'm saying, right? He's gonna die? I'm sure he'll be wearing a bulletproof vest and the security he hires has got to be some sort of former government protection agency alumni, like the CIA or like the SEALs or something like that. You know, having a regular bodyguard definitely will not be enough. You guys gotta let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. For now, let's reply to some comments from the video, man's lungs filled with solidify oil from vaping. Jamarly Francis, the antisocial gamer said, vaping is really only supposed to help you stop smoking. Some teens have started vaping because they think it's cool. Yeah, it's just like the new cigarette. Like it's just some Something that legally they're not supposed to do it so they want to do it it's fun it's cool they're smoking it looks cool like I never got into it I mean I'm 25 so when it became popular I was kind of like eh. DT Broad said I'm a construction worker and combat vet I vape and so do others I work with and guess what cinnamon toast crunch is one of the flavors I use the only thing that all these cases have in common is THC that's because I said like most adults probably don't have flavored vapes like a construction worker and stuff. I'm not saying you can. I don't have a problem with it. I really don't care what you do. I was just making, you know, the comparison of like, it seems like it's more geared towards kids, you know. There's menthol cigarettes that kind of taste minty, but I see most adults just smoking regular cigarettes because they don't care for the taste. They just care for the effect of nicotine. But you do you, bro. I don't give a shit. Cody Baumgarten said, it's caused by vitamin E mixed in with black market the THC cartridges. Why do people freak out on nicotine vapes? You don't mention this and you should. Well, I just did. A lot of you guys actually commented being like, you don't know what you're talking about. Do your research, blah, blah, blah. Look guys, we just go based off stories. I have sources that I could show you if you really like, but uh, the reality is, even normal vaping cigarettes, like you're putting something into your lungs that doesn't belong there in the first place. So if you guys think what I was saying was he was smoking, you know, cartridges and, cause I did mention he also smokes a THC. Whatever the cause was that the solidified oil built up in his lungs, it happened. And apparently according to the article, he only smoked the THC once a couple times. He was a frequent user of these regular cartridges. I don't know what he smoked, a Juul or whatever other brands there are. Cause I don't smoke that. 
But regardless, those are the effects. Um, a lot of you guys did say it's the black market THC cartridges that cause these problems, but I don't know, you're hearing reports all over the place that apparently these vapes are also causing the long-term health issues, and they're still very new. So 15 years down the road, who knows you know, what the harm will cause you. Uh, but you guys keep doing your thing. I'm like, I, I don't really care what you guys do at the end of the day. Uh, I wish you guys all the best. I obviously don't wish harm upon anybody, as I've been saying this whole video. And uh, if you guys think that smoking these vapes that are still relatively new are safe, then do your thing. I don't know, it's your body, not mine. I don't smoke them just because I don't like them. It's not for me, smoking's bad for you. But you guys do whatever you gotta do. And on that note, I'm gonna wrap this one up. I've been your host, Jared Bronstein. If you guys enjoyed the video, subscribe, maybe give us a thumbs up, leave us a comment down below. If you guys wanna come at me for talking shit about your vapes, I'm, I'm here waiting for it. I'll see you guys soon.